Hello dear students, in uh, one of the previous sessions we have discussed sign convention. Today let us solve one problem so that we understand how to use the convention while solving the problems better. So, I have written a problem here, a ball is thrown vertically upwards with a speed of 25 meter per second from the top of a tower and the height of the tower is 30 meter. After what time from the beginning the ball will reach the ground? Let me draw the situation, so, there is a tower, height of the tower is 30 meters, ball is thrown vertically upwards with a speed of 25 meter per second from the top of the tower. After what time from the beginning the ball will reach the ground? The ball initially goes up, then it falls like this and the ball will reach the ground. So, we need to find the time. The easiest way to solve this uh, problem is, so here what you need to understand is initial velocity is 25 meter per second, the ball goes up, speed decreases, decreases, at the highest point speed becomes 0, again the speed increases in the opposite direction and the ball hits the ground. So, I need to find out time. Okay. Since uh, they are speaking about height or distance okay, and uh, they are speaking about initial speed, okay. they are speaking about u, they are speaking about x and they are asking about time correct na? and it is a situation of free fall. The object is going uh, under gravity, it is moving under gravity. So, they are speaking about g also or it is acceleration. So, we should see in which equation there is x, there is u, there is t there is a. Okay. So, the appropriate equation would be x is equal to u t plus half a t square and we need to find out t. x, x means displacement. Initially, where was the ball? Ball was on the top of the tower. Ball was on the top of the tower. Finally, the ball is here. What is the net displacement? Net displacement is downward. So, what I will do? I will take the point of projection as origin. Okay. Uh, in sign convention, while studying sign convention, we have seen if the object is going moving downwards or if the displacement is downwards, then it is taken negative. So, ball is coming downwards by an amount of 30 meter, let me take it as 30. Since the displacement is downward, it, I have to take it as negative. Initially, the ball was projected up. So, initial velocity, it is going up. So, upward velocities are taken positive according to sign convention. So, 25 into t, we have to find out a acceleration due to gravity is always minus 10, minus 10 by 2 is minus 5, minus 5 into 2 square. I got a quadratic equation. Let me simplify it. 5 t square, I will throw this to LHS, it becomes plus minus 25 t minus 30 equal to 0 dividing by 5 t square minus 5 t minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, I will split this minus 5 t as minus 60 plus t. So, that minus 60 plus t is minus 5 t minus 6 into plus 1 is minus 6. So, what happens? t square minus 60 plus t minus 6 equal to 0. Simplifying further, t into, I will take t common, t into t minus 6 okay, plus here in this I will take 1 common, 1 into t minus 6 is equal to 0. So, what happens? This implies t minus 6 is equal to 0 or t plus 1 is equal to 0. In short, t is equal to plus 6 seconds or t is equal to minus 1 second. We know that time can never be negative. So, therefore, I should go for plus 6. This is the answer. Now, you may think the ball is going up, the, then the ball came downwards. We did not consider this distance travelled and you remember in this equation x is displacement, not the distance travelled. So, straight away uh, we can use the problem even though the ball is changing the direction since acceleration is constant, straight away we can use this formula. One more thing what we can do is sometimes you may calculate 
the time of flight first, then you may calculate the time required for the ball to reach the ground. Then in that case, what I should do? So we know that, see, what is the time required for the ball to reach the maximum height? T maximum, time of maximum height is u by g. We know this formula, u by g. How do we get, get this formula? Using v is equal to u plus a t. At the highest point, velocity is 0, velocity is 0, initial velocity is u, a is minus g. When the, when the time is t maximum, when the time is t maximum, velocity is 0, means at the maximum height, velocity is 0. So, from this equation we got t maximum equal to u by g, I got this equation. Okay. So, what is time of maximum height? Time of maximum height is equal to u, u is 25 divided by g, let me take it as 10 or say in the problem itself they have given g is equal to 10 meter per second square. So, time of maximum height is 2.5 seconds, means the ball takes 2.5 seconds to reach the maximum height, then we know that time required for the ball to reach the maximum height is equal to time required to come down, then in the same 2.5 seconds, in the same 2.5 seconds the ball will reach the same height, it will come here, means 2.5 seconds to go up, 2.5 seconds to reach the same height, totally now 5 seconds are over. Now, what is the time required for the ball to reach the ground from this point? Now, for this what we will do? So, again I will use x is equal to ut plus half a t square e equation, half a t square. Now, also ball is, ball is coming downwards, displacement is negative, x is minus 30. Now, what is u? See, in the first case, u we had taken 25 because the ball was going up. Now, when the ball is here, the ball has a downward speed of 25 meter per second. So, that is why we have to take it as minus 25 into t, a is minus 10 as it is, minus 10 by 2 is minus 5, minus 5 t square. So, I can write it as plus 5 t square minus or minus 25 t comes here and it becomes plus plus 25 t minus 30 equal to 0. Dividing the entire equation by 5, I get t square plus 5 t minus 6 equal to 0. Now, what to do? While adding, I should get uh, plus 5 t. So, I will write plus 6 t minus t plus 60 minus t is 5 t plus 6 into minus 1 is minus 6. So, what happens? t square plus 60 minus t minus 6 equal to 0. From these two, let me take t common. From these two, let me take minus 1 common. So, what happens? t into t plus 6. Okay. Here, I am taking minus 1 common minus 1 into t plus 6 is equal to 0. What does it mean? It means either t plus 6 is equal to 0 or t minus 1 is equal to 0. This implies t is equal to minus 6 seconds or t is equal to plus 1 second. Now, we have already calculated the time required for the ball to go up and to come here that is 5 second 2.5 plus 2.5 5 seconds are already over. Now, for the ball to reach from the top of the tower to bottom this time we got as 1 second because minus c is not possible. So, what is the total answer 2.5 plus 2.5 5 plus 1 total time required is 6 seconds. Now, in the second method we are we are using 2 or 3 formula here, okay. but in the first method directly without considering where the where and all the ball is going. If we just focus on what is the net displacement, what is the initial position and what is the final position, if you use single formula and if you trust the sign convention, you will get the correct answer. <coughs>